Hey guys, I'm Lucas, welcome to KNews episode 22. This time about Super Stripe High and Long March 3B. Yes, this time I decided to include two launches, so I can cover even those which I else had to neglect completely. Super Stripe High is a small launch vehicle, which is derived from the Stripe High sounding rocket. It has three stages, which use solid rocket propellant and I tried it but failed in KSP with it. This is why I instead go for a liquid fueled third stage. Other cheats are the separatrons at the first stage and the winglets at the second one. Anyways, the payload consists of the Hiyaka satellite and 13 CubeSats, which are part of the operationally responsive Space 4 mission. The launch was delayed multiple times and I'm not entirely sure when it will happen, but I'll update the video description as soon as I can. It will take place in Hawaii and unlike many other rockets, Super Striper will launch from a rail. It has no steering and no complex guidance system, which means it can't point upwards during launch by its health. It needs training wheels for the first few meters so to speak, until it reaches a certain speed where the aerodynamic properties of the rocket keep it steady and on course. It will follow a ballistic trajectory and spin itself up to increase the stability further, heading for a 97 degrees inclined sun synchronous orbit. Its maximum payload capacity to such an orbit is roughly 250 kilograms, which is similar to the retired Falcon 1. Speaking of payload, Hiyakasat was developed by students of the Hawaiian University and will be used to teach and provide practical experiences in space research to future ones. The name stands for Hyperspectral Imaging Aeronautical Kinematic Analysis Satellite, which sounds complicated but is basically a camera which pixels do not simply record a certain color, but a whole range of colors at once. The actual color of an object which we see is usually a mixture of many many different ones, but our brain, like a regular camera, reduces it to one. A green object is a green object, no matter if it's just green or a mixture of blue and yellow for example. The actual mixture contains a lot of information, which is lost, but the camera on Hiyakasat keeps it to study the ground. If everything goes according to plan, it will be released in a roughly 450 km high circular orbit, together with the CubeSats. The other launch I wanted to talk about is the Chinese Long March 3B. The rocket has three liquid stages and four liquid strap-on boosters. The payload is secret but probably a military communication satellite. The launch is scheduled for 11 in the morning Eastern Time or around midnight locally. One neat thing about the rocket is, since the booster nozzles are pointed a little outwards, it stays stable even if one booster fails, at least in KSP. This is because the thrust of each booster points roughly through the center of mass, but it can also be just coincidence and the angled nozzles probably also reduce the heat on the main engines. The rocket will head eastwards and since the launch site is in the middle of China, it will travel over land and I don't exactly know where the boosters will crash, but I hope it will be over an unpopulated area. I recommend googling for China rocket debris if you are interested to see how such rocket parts look like after they have plummeted to the ground. After first and second stage separation, the upper stage will go on with its mission bringing the satellite to its desired location, which will probably be a geostationary transfer orbit, but I don't know it for sure. Ok, feel free to share additional information if you know more about these launches. That's it for this episode and I hope to see you in the next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.